Hey, so the reason why I haven't been making many videos lately is because I've been studying for Cisco CCENT ICND1 exam 100-101 and uh, I finally passed it just now I'm driving back from the testing facility so I'm very relieved <laughs> I'm just relieved that this process is completed and I can get back to making videos focusing on that dedicating myself to that we got a big new I'll call it a season coming up but this season will last a year and a ton of good stuff is going to be on this site or on this channel I hope it's all useful mind expanding stuff you guys could use to enhance yourselves so thanks for sticking with me during this little hiatus I've been grinding hard man very happy with the results but, but I'm really relieved I'm relieved more than happy I'm, just, I'm, I'm happy that all the time I just spent it seemed like months uh, was, was not for nothing because this particular exam expires in um, in like nine days it expired you can't take this exam this particular version of it anymore after August 20 so I, I, I just took it on August 11th I hit the deadline I passed moving on this was a big thing for me I, I've been meaning to get Cisco certified since 2002 so I did it I'm not allowed to give any tips or any information about the exam so sorry about that if you wanted to know about the ICND1 exam uh, it, even if I gave it away in nine days whatever I told you would be of no use because the exam is going to be completely new so it, it, it was a difficult exam so just happy really relieved and I'm, I'm excited to get back to doing videos I'm really I missed the creation process so so everybody that stuck with me and it looked like the majority of you guys did so I appreciate that again I'm happy I'm Cisco certified I'm not gonna do CCNA it's just too much I'm happy with my CCENT past the ICND one I, I may get CCNA wireless. I am interested in that. The uh, and and the prerequisite for it is just to achieve CCENT. So at least that's what I read the other night. So I think I have the prerequisites in order to take Cisco wireless, CCNA wireless. I don't think I could pass the CCNA or the ICND2 exam. It's just it's too involved. I, I'm. It's not that I'm not smart enough. <laughs> I just have too much going on with my life. Full time job. Trying to do videos. Trying to be a husband. Trying to exercise. Just. I just. Not to do that. that that's, that's some in depth knowledge right there. CCNA wireless, on the other hand, you would think that it's harder, but that stuff fascinates me. Whereas. Knowing the ins and outs of OSPF, RIP, RIPv2, EIGRP, it might be exciting to you, but it's just not exciting to me. I don't, for whatever reason. But wireless stuff, that's kind of cool because I think that kind of information I can use for other things. So if I'm going to do it, another one, it'll be CCNA wireless. But I'm, I'm just relieved and thankful that I, I survived ICND1, CCENT. So I'm Cisco certified for three years. But anyway, catch you guys soon. I got, I already have a hundred videos already outlined on my paper. I just gotta film them. So I'll see you then. Peace.